Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Chica's Kitchen. My name is Ani, and today I'm going to bring you along as I make some cream cheese cupcakes. Fairly simple. Uh, these will be oven baked uh, because they will include, as you can see right here, some eggs. Now you can make these without the eggs, just don't put the eggs in. And then what you do is you want to put them in the freezer instead. And they'll firm up just as nicely. But I want it to be a little bit more uh, dense. So I'm going to add um, about a cup of flour. And I'm making two batches here. Uh, so I've got two bars of cream cheese. I've doubled the recipe, in other words. I've got two bars of cream cheese, two lemons, which I will zest and use the juice out of. I've got a bag of vanilla wafer cookies. You can use whatever cookie you want. Uh, I've got two cans of sweet and condensed milk and two eggs. And then back here I have some... Uh, a berry medley. This is going to be for the topping. I'll go ahead and put this in a pot. And uh, I also have a little bit of glaze to mix those berries in. And I have some vanilla. And of course, the two eggs. So it's one egg, one lemon, one cream cheese bar, one can of sweet and condensed milk your cookies and everything else per, per recipe. Okay, but I'm doubling up today because Huffster is, uh, has got Bible study today, men's Bible study, and um, I've got to make two batches. I, I think there's about 18 of them, and I've got to make, I always like to make a little extra, so I'm gonna make 24. All right, I am going to use my sand mixer and um, I've already got my cupcakes lined. Uh, if you can see them right there on the other counter. And uh, so I'm ready to go. So let me go ahead and get my coffee and I'll be right back. Hey, okay, I'm back. <sighs> I went and I got the flour. It's it's three tablespoons per recipe, so I've got six tablespoons of flour here. And I've got one cup of sugar. It's called for one cup of sugar per recipe, but because of the sweet and condensed milk, I usually only use half a cup of sugar. So I've got one whole cup for, for two recipes. Remember, I'm doubling my recipe. So whatever I use here, cut in half to make one. All right, so I went ahead and I zested my lemon. And uh, as you can see here, and I'm going to squeeze the rest of this lemon juice, I mean, the lemon juice from the lemons. So again, I've got two lemons because I'm doing two, I'm doubling my batch. So you would only need one for one batch. I'm not sure how many cupcakes uh, one batch yields. Um, I'm gonna say, I don't know, maybe 12 to 14 or 12 to 16. I just don't know because um, 
I, uh, I'm making a double batch. And I thought about making these. Um, so I've not made the cupcakes version before. Um, I do have this recipe um, as a pie, as a cheesecake online already. So you can refer to that. I just thought it'd be cute to have them as cupcakes. So I'm going to go ahead and squeeze the lemon juice in with the lemon zest and get this out the way and I'll be right back and we'll start mixing everything up. I do want to say I'm going to start my oven at 350. Make sure you do that. Okay, here we go. We're getting ready to get started. Let me put my ingredients on here first. Okay, we're going to want the cream cheese bars. They have to be soft, room temperature. Always room temperature. Room temperature eggs, room temperature uh, cream cheese bars. Okay. We'll put our sugar. Let's go ahead and give that a go. Start on one. Got the legs broken up and the cream cheese all broken up and mixed up. Okay, usually rule of thumb is when you're doing this recipe, always add the eggs in last. You don't want too much air in them because you don't want your cream cheese to crack, you know, to bake with cracks. So, but, um, it's like 3 in the morning right now, and I had a long day yesterday. I had all kinds of appointments at the VA. <sighs> Hubs and I were there all day pretty much. And uh, then we came home and started watching movies till late and just exhausted. <laughs> and I was up at 1 o'clock in the morning yesterday because Hubster had to go into work early. So I just went ahead and I'm just going to go ahead and throw everything in here. I mean, it's not going to kill it. It's just if you're making the pie itself, you know, the cheesecake pie, then you're going to want to put the eggs in last and not beat it too much. You don't want a lot of air in there because it'll crack your cake or your pie. Another thing with... Uh, cream cheese cakes in the oven you want to let the oven cool down on its own don't open the door you know just let it cool down for about an hour or so till it's warm because that cold air will crack it also so we're putting in our sweet and condensed milk I got some more I gotta get out of there Two cans because again this is double the recipe. Okay. 
love the lid. <laughs> Anybody ever have this in their coffee? Oh, God, it's so good. Bad for you, though. Let me uh, raise this up a little bit. Oh, Lord, why couldn't you have stopped on the other side? You want all this goodness. So don't be shy about getting every last drop. This is very important. This is what's going to hold, along with the eggs, it's the adhesive that's going to hold your... Especially if you don't use the eggs, if you're used doing a cold recipe or no-bake, then you want that sweetened condensed milk because that's what's going to hold your cake together or your pie together or whatever together. However you make it, cupcakes or pie. My oven is telling me it's at 350. It is ready. But I guess I have my gloves on because this is not for the house. This is going to church. Yeah. Well, with my gloves. Wash my gloves, I should say. <laughs> All right. So we're done with the sweet and condensed milk. Throw this in the trash. Pump up it and it'll incorporate well. Vanilla. 
just a couple of teaspoons because it is a double batch here, but usually just one teaspoon. I'll be back. Okay. That seems to be nicely whipped. Now we're going to add the lemon juice and zest. Again, the zest of one lemon and the juice of one lemon. It's all you need for one recipe. And just go ahead and gently blend that in there. And that's it for the batter, folks. It's very simple. Good for that. Push that back for now. Time for the cookies. You can crush these if you want to. Mix it with butter and do a crumb. Or you can just simply do what I'm going to do. Which is just drop the cookies. They'll have a nice cookie. And, and the thing about these wafers that I like when you do the pies especially is that they're a little bit like uh, raised in the middle and bossed in the middle, right? Flat on the bottom. So that cookie actually bakes in to the cream cheese so when you take a bite it's a nice little surprise <laughs> okay so let's go ahead and pour a mixture into a measuring cup because it has a spout and it'll be easier to pour I believe so let's do that I'll wipe my hands off Okay. See, when you use the measuring cup, you don't have that splatter and mess everywhere. You want to leave it just about half an inch from the top. You want to fill it up to about that. So I'm going to fill these up and I'll bring you back. Okay, these are filled. Give it a couple of taps. Get the air out of it. And then put them in the oven. Hold on. Okay. So I'm putting these 12 in the oven. And I'm going to bake them for at 350 for about 10 minutes. Then I'll take them out. I'll lower the temperature. I won't take them out. Forget that. I'll lower the temperature to 300 and bake them for another 20 minutes. So total bake time is 30 minutes. 
And the reason why it changed the temperature is because you want to prevent cracking. And again, do not open the oven door until they've completely cooled down. Okay. So, 10 minutes at 350. I'll bring you back after 10 minutes. Okay, next thing we have back here um, is the berry medley. This is simple, really. Now, you can take these and boil them with a little bit of sugar and kind of reduce them, mash them up, and reduce them for a nice glaze. Or you can just simply gel them and use the fruit as the actual topping and I think that's what I'm going to do. I do have fresh strawberries so I can mush them down and glaze them and then put a cut of fresh strawberry but um, I also have that glaze right here which I want to use so put a little bit of water in here Get all that juice out of there tablespoons would be good. Whoops. Wash. Just simply want to stir that around a little bit. Let that come to a boil. Put a little bit of Vanilla, I have a teaspoon. And then the gel, this, the glaze, you put directly on the cheesecake and then spoon a little bit of the fruit on top. That's how we're going to do that. Okay, we have about four minutes left before we need to reduce the oven temperature and bake for 20 minutes. I'll bring you back. All right, time is off. So now we're going to lower to 300. Okay. And time, 20 minutes. I'll bring you back.
Okay, we are ready. I turned the timer off. Let's see if I. Yep. Okay, these are nice and creamy. Now you see the cracks on there, which is not going to mind for us because we're going to do a topping over it anyway. That's what I mean by when you add the eggs. Here, let me show you. When you whip the eggs too much, you don't ever want to over whip. Okay, now you see it raised a little bit, but it will deflate down. So we'll let those cool off and put in, where is it? Oh yes, of course, because we're, we're getting ready to do our second batch. We've got the fruit topping already. Glazed. Okay. Then we made a mess with this batter, so get my glove on. Now, usually the best way to serve these is you you refrigerate, you know, overnight, and the next day they come up. They're so good, nice and creamy. But I don't have time for that <laughs> because this is going out the door today. So what I'm going to do is freeze for an hour and then refrigerate until it helps to leaves, which is around 8 o'clock or so or 7.30 or something like that. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do. See how they've deflated? And the cracks aren't as noticeable anymore. Let me show you. See that? They've almost disappeared. Okay? Again, so if you're doing a topping, you're not going to worry too much about it whip away <laughs> uh, but it's always best to whip really well your cell your uh oh and you can add sour cream to this if you wanted to also by the way that's optional get creative my message always get creative uh, you can add definitely add some sour cream but um If you're going to add uh, a topping, then you, I, I wouldn't worry too much about the cracks. But normally, what you do is, well, these are still very, they're not too bad. Normally, what you do is, I can get my train of thought. Ah, I forgot what I was going to say. Seriously, I'm so tired. That's terrible. But hey, it happens. It certainly does. I'll get my train of thought back here in a minute. Okay, let's get these out. I'm going to sit them on this platter so I can get the rest of the cakes in and baked. Oh, gosh, this is really going to give me a hard way to go. Don't want them 
to fall apart. Okay. Get a groove going here, then I'll be all right. There we go. Unfortunately, I only have one of these baking pans. I definitely have to order another one. I do have a mini one, but that's mini. I need a another one of those and another one of these, actually. The mini ones are really good for parties because you make twice as much. You know, with the same recipe, with this double batch recipe. You got more people coming, you make twice as much, the little tiny mini bites, delicious. Normally I would let these cool all the way and they just, you know, it's easy to come out, but I need the pan. <laughs> Gotta put the rest of these puppies in here. So let's go ahead and... 350. Um, I suggest instead of the 20 minute at 300, um, I suggest maybe 12 minutes at 300, 10 minutes at 350, 12 minutes at 300. Your ovens vary, so just pay attention to your oven. My Ooh. oven is pretty uh, quick. It's pretty hot. Alright, so I'm going to fill this up. Hold on just a second. Okay, I'm back. All right, so why did I turn the oven off? Can anybody guess? Well, because my oven gets so hot. We don't want a burnt Cupcake. It'll it'll cook too fast and won't cook all the way through. You probably have to stir your your batter again. Because if it's been sitting just a little bit. Let me change hands because I am definitely, I'm putting these in the fridge. I'm definitely not left handed. <laughs> All right, my oven is hot to 350. Let me stir that in there a little bit.
Almost done. Not. <laughs> I'll end up making a mess. I know me. I don't trust. I don't trust myself. I'm very messy. Okay. Just a little extra batter. So this makes about actually 26. But let me see. Anywhere else short? Nope. They're pretty much cool. Twenty six, twenty eight. Just depends. All right. All right. So here we go in the oven. Right. Shake. And in we go. I do have my water on the bottom in the pan, on the bottom of the oven, the pan, as I usually always do when I bake. All right, uh, set the timer for 10, and I shall bring you back. I'm going to bring you back once they're ready, okay? Okay, timer's gone off. It's completely baked. Should be. Here are the others. Okay, we'll wait till that deflates and cool off, cools off a little bit. I did have enough for two personals, so I'm going to put these in the oven now. Raise the temp to 350 again. Wait till the oven lets me know it's made. have been refrigerated I'm gonna start putting some gel It will sink in a little bit in the middle, but I'm going to tell you what, that's going to hold your fruit. It won't slide off your cupcake. We'll just go ahead and put the glaze on each and every one of these. Yes, my oven is ready for these other two loners. Gotta put these in. Oh. Just put them right in. Set the timer. 
timer for 10 minutes. Okay. And I'm going to finish glazing all of these and I'll bring you guys back. Okay, as so you can see, I put some of the berries on one corner of the cupcake and I'm starting to put the strawberries down. What I'm doing is I'm cutting the fresh strawberries, I'm taking the caps off and just cutting them in half. That's all I'm doing. And then we'll sit them kind of at a peak. See that? Some of them may settle, that's okay. My hands are impeccably clean, by the way. Wash them thoroughly. I can't do this with gloves because it needs to be handled precisely and with the gloves it's kind of slippery and hard to handle. It just is for me anyway. Alright, that's my 10 minutes. Now I need to lower this. And 12 minutes. Those are for the two personal ones that I have. Okay, I'm trying to get the reddest berries I have in this bunch here. I hope the men enjoy this, a little treat after their breakfast. Give them a little sugar to stay up and After a hearty breakfast, they stay awake during the Bible study. <laughs> ah, don't get mad, guys, if you're watching. <laughs> you just know that with a full belly, boy, you sit in the room and it's warm. Mm -hmm. I remember those classroom days. We used to bring in a movie or something. I used to love to see that projector coming in the classroom, but bad downside of it, you couldn't fall asleep. They'd watch you. <laughs> but what's the sense in turning the lights on, bringing a movie you cannot off? <laughs> right. Now, I think I will give these, I have a little orange marmalade glaze here. I think I'll brush some of that on my strawberries so they're nice and shiny. Boy, I go through a whole lot of trouble, don't I? Presentation is key. You have to be proud of your work. All right. So, put a little glaze on these strawberries. See how nice and shiny that is? All it is is orange marmalade and a little bit of warm water. By the way, this is drying up on me. Need a little bit more water. And you stir it very well and then when it dries up and hardens it kind of gels up on the strawberry see and you get little tiny pieces of orange peel which is always a nice little zing you know
Okay. You can even put some uh, whipped topping on this first and then sit the, cher the cherry, the strawberry on top of it. Or just sit a strawberry, a strawberry on top of the, the cheesecake. You don't have to do the gel. Just get creative. My message always, make it your own, get creative, have fun. It's supposed to be fun. All right, I believe I got them all. So these are the first ones I'm gonna, I'm going to put them in the carrier, the big pan. I hope they enjoy it. So what's up? I guess he went back to bed. <laughs> I'll show you the pan in a minute. So now I've got to get these out and we're on time. See all the cracks have disappeared. Deflate, that's what they do. Okay. This out the way. This is the pan. Doesn't that look pretty? Yep. So time to glaze these. And I'll bring you back with the final snapshot presentation. Okay, guys, here you have it. Let me unplug this so I can carry you. Ugh, sorry about my hand. Here we go. Wow. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Beautiful. All right. Well, until the next recipe, I hope you all try this and enjoy it. Let me know. Give me a thumbs up. If you make it, post a pic. Uh, I appreciate you all. Love one another. Have an awesome weekend and Sabbath day. Uh, thank the Lord for all that you have um, and that you're still here with us. Okay. We have to be grateful. And uh, God bless you all. Take care of yourselves and one another. Until the next recipe.